good morning everyone thank you so much for coming back to my channel guru shine and i am welcoming you to a very new topic we're going to discuss today i hope you enjoy our new topic for today a very interesting topic related to the basic probability and we will make probability easier okay our topic is about fundamental counting principle now we're going to learn to count the number of occurrences of an outcome using the fundamental counting principle. So what is fundamental counting principle? Okay, fundamental counting principle tells us that if one thing can occur in M ways, and the second thing can occur in N ways, and third thing can occur in P ways, and so on, then the sequence of things can occur in m multiplied to n multiplied to p and so on ways so to better understand here i'm going to make you hungry today i have prepared here an example for you here a school canteen serves three types of pasta meal a carbonara here here is our carbonara a spaghetti here is our spaghetti and a macaroni soup. They also serve three desserts. We have here the halo halo, an ice cream, and a leche flan. They also serve two beverages, pineapple juice, and an iced tea. Now, my question for you is, are you getting hungrier? Okay, my real question to you is, if each student will have a unique menu each, composed of a pasta meal, a dessert, and a beverage, how many students will be served? Okay, to better understand this, I have prepared for you a tree diagram. This is the tree diagram. In here, the first layer is the spaghetti carbonara and macaroni soup on the second layer we have the three desserts leche flan halo halo and ice cream for carbonara there's also leche flan halo halo and ice cream and macaroni leche flan halo halo and ice cream and on the third layer we have the two beverages the iced tea and pineapple juice. The first student can have a spaghetti, a leche flan, and a nice tea. The second one can have a spaghetti, a leche flan, and pineapple juice. The third student can have a spaghetti, a halo, halo, and iced tea. Fourth student can have a spaghetti, a halo, halo, and pineapple juice. So to count this manually, we will be able to say that the number of students who can have a unique menu each, we have here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So there are 8 students who will have a unique menu each. But actually, using the fundamental counting principle that says that uh, to get the number of ways, all we have to do is to multiply the first way, m, multiplied to the second way, and multiplied to the third way, and so on. So first layer, we have three options. Second layer, we have another three options. And the third layer, we have two options. So fundamental counting principle says that to know the total number of options, all we have to do is multiply them. So what we're going to do, that is 3 multiplied to 3 and then multiplied to 2, then there are 18 unique menu each. All right. So another example I have here is the gold coins. How many ways can you flip a gold coin if i'm going to flip this it can only be either 
a head or a tail. So how many ways can we flip a coin? That is a head and a tail. So we have two ways. How about if we flip two coins? How many ways are there? The first way that can happen is the first coin is a head and the second one is a head. Another way that can happen is the first coin is a head and the second coin is a tail. Third way that can happen is the first coin is a tail. The second coin is a head. Our fourth option that can happen is our first coin is a tail and the second coin is a tail. So how many ways are there? There are four ways. This is the tree diagram I made for flipping two coins. The first one can have a head and tail only. So while the first one is a head, the second one can have a head and tail. Well, while the first one is a tail, the second one can have also a head and tail. So there are a total of four ways. How about if we have a die? How many ways can we roll a die? On the first roll, it could be a one, second roll could be two, third roll could be three, fourth roll could be four, fifth roll could be five, and the sixth roll could be six. Is there any way we can roll a die more? Is there a possibility that when we roll a die, a number seven will occur? I don't think so. The total number of ways in rolling a die is six ways. So how about if we have two dice? How many ways can we roll two dice? Our answer should be 36 ways. That is, on the first die, there are six ways. The second die, another six ways. And there will be 36 ways. So my first question for you is, how many plate numbers can be provided consisting of two letters and four numbers? I have here example for you, DC6247. So we have here two letters and four numbers. Maybe if you are working in transportation company, you will be able to answer this. But for normal people like us in a good way, how can we be able to know two letters and four numbers so for our two letters for the first letter how many ways can we choose a first letter in an english alphabet there are 26 ways so how about on the second letter since on the plate number the first letter could be same as the second letter so there are also another 26 ways for the second letter. So how about the numbers? On the first number, how many ways can we choose the first number? That is, from 0 to 9, we have 10. So on the second number, still, it can be repeated, for example, 0, 0, 0, 0. So there are also 10 ways. 10 ways and 10 ways so all we have to do is according to fundamental counting principle all we have to do is to multiply the number of ways so how many total plate numbers can be printed with this format there are 26 multiplied to 26 So our answer is 6,760,000 plate numbers. Okay, so if we want to know the total number of plate numbers that can be printed all over the world, all we have to do is to 
know these calculations. Okay, so for our second question, it is related to the first question, but in here we have a restriction. We also have the same here, two letters and four numbers. Our next question, we have a restriction. We have still the same format, two letters and four digits. So the first letter, we have 26 options. If we have A here, it cannot be repeated here. So in here, we only have 25 options remaining. For the digits, the first option, we still have 10 options. But for the second one, since we have here zero, we cannot have zero here. So we only have nine and so on. So all we have to do is to multiply the number of ways and our answer should be times 25 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. So there are total of 3,276,000 plate numbers with, with this format, two letters and four digits, but with a restriction that the letters and the digits cannot be repeated. My third question is, a true or false test consists of 10 questions. If all the questions are answered, in how many ways, how many different ways can this be done? So there are 10 questions with two options each. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So for our first question, there are two options, either true or false. Second question, same, and so on. So how about if there are more than 10 questions? Since all the questions have two options each, we can easily solve this using these calculations. 2 raised to 10, wherein 2 is the number of ways and 10 is the number of questions. So our answer is 2 raised to 10 is 1024. Manually, that will be 2 times 2 and so on. Just like what we have learned from the fundamental principles of counting, we have learned that there are so many ways to do things. There are so many ways to flip a coin. There are so many ways to choose a menu. Now, in our present situation, there are so many ways to, to avoid or prevent the coronavirus. It could be wearing a mask. It could be drinking vitamin C. Or it could be social distancing. Or it could be staying at home. But always remember, guys, that even though there are a lot of ways to do so many things and there are a lot of ways to prevent coronavirus, always remember that there is one very, very important way that we should not forget. That is to pray. Okay? Thank you so much, everyone, and God bless!